Welcome back. This is Upload with another VCVREC experiment. It is now officially day 32 of my 50 day challenge. And yes, I know I haven't been very consistent in the past two weeks with doing these experiments and making videos. But that's because it's just been really busy at work. So being exhausted, having loads of stuff to do. And then when it's finally done, I took a couple of days to play Skyrim. Anyway, I'm back and uh, over the past few days I've been working on this patch, but I wasn't really satisfied with it until, well, this came out today. Um, well, let's have a look, let's listen. So, if we start running topograph, which functions as our clock and our uh, rhythm sequencer, then you hear this. Um, our topograph clock slash rhythm goes to a quad sequencer here. Um, see, this one triggers the first row here. Um, it's set in a mode where it switches randomly between those values. And that then goes into a Scala quantizer. And this is set to a chromatic mixolydian from a septimal interpretation of 31 tet. Oh. So I made this in uh, Scala, which is a separate piece of software in which you can make scales uh, that are different from our equally tempered 12. Um, equal divisions of the octave scale and this is based on a 31 equal divisions of the octave but then from that we've chosen certain notes to make a 12 note scale and it's not exactly the 31 edo or tet but acceptable interpretation. You can look into it if you are interested. Anyway, it sounds slightly different from our normal scales. And I have this twice scale quantizer, and each one drives Grain OSE, which I bought from Clear Factory. And this has a sample loaded from the original sample that we've been given on the ambient online forums to do this one sample there with one sample challenge. Um, let's listen to the original sample. And that is over here. So it's a 12 second sample of some kitchenware that has quite some tonal content to it. Uh, from this I cut a few smaller samples. I actually only used two. As you can see I'm using these two grain oscillators. And each one has one of these smaller samples loaded. So the uh, CV here, which is the, the pitch information, comes from the Scala quantizer. So one is uh, set lower, minus one octave, and the other plus one octave for the higher notes, the short ones. So the, um, the lower ones, if we turn this one off. Yeah. 
So this is one green oscillator and then goes through this uh, VCA amp on Bog Audio which is driven by Rampage. So when our uh, when Tokograph triggers one step it triggers the clock on a sequencer for the pitch information and it triggers a rampage for the um, amplitude envelope. And that goes then through Vortex Volts, Russian Filter and Plumsoft's XFX Reverb set to quite long and uh, the mix uh, Turned up quite high, so there's a lot of reverb. It introduces some distortion also because of the drive here, but certain uh, frequencies in the reverb are a bit distorted because I guess they come through too loud. So I have uh, EQ'd the one kilohertz out a bit because that was just too much. I've done that uh, post VCV in Reaper. And uh, the output from the Reaper also goes into Smoke, which is our uh, South Pole version of Clouds. And that sounds like that. So we get a uh, granulated, textured version of that. And together it sounds like that. And it sounds quite ominous. And then we have some higher stuff here, except we're not hearing anything. There it is. Okay, so this is the lower row here. Um, from the second row in the sequencer. See this green output that comes from this part of topograph. Um, it triggers also rampage here. We have some stuff here modulated and um, goes to the Scala quantizer, a slow limiter. So now and then you hear that is transitions between nodes and it goes here through the CV in for the pitch information for grain or C oscillator again an amp here for the envelope and then the output goes through pan from chart desert I tried a few different panning modules but for some reason most of them wouldn't want to work as I expected Anyway, this one works, but it's then filtered through tangents and goes through a reverb with a lower timing than this one and more damping. So there isn't as much reverb, but together anyway, it's the panning effect uh, is a little bit lost. But if you listen carefully, you could maybe hear it moving through the stereo field and that comes from Caudal which I've used extensively as you can see here uh, I have a whole battery of uh, attenuverters because usually I don't want the whole range or I want to use a bit of an offset so that's what's happening here and this color panel is just for fun and to separate our modulation from this voice okay let's turn this on again so we have pan modulation we also modulate this one the position in the sample from where grain oscillator takes the grain that it uses as a waveform 
and that comes is modulated by coda. We modulate through knobs both of the filters at the same time, the cutoff and the drive as well. We modulate the damp in the reverb here and there. And we modulate the rise and fall length of the envelope of the shorter sounds. And here the yellow part of Topograph is for hitting a driving caudal which drives our modulation. Uh, I have uh, five steps, six steps here to get different um, values that go to the energy setting of Gadol as well. But this uh, triggers very rarely. It's, anyway, it's at 48 BPM, so it's really slow. And then this is turned down quite a bit, so it doesn't trigger very often. Uh, we also modulate the chaos parameter here, uh, which um, pushes these values up, as it were. We get more notes more often. And we modulate the map here. Which is the source of the, the rhythm of these notes. And that comes just from an unclocked uh, setting here. Uh, so the bottom row is for the map. It's the third row which drives our energy parameter here. I think uh, I've covered everything. It's quite an ominous sounding patch, so I'm calling it Loki's Kitchen. Alright, I hope you liked it and uh, I hope to see you back again soon with a new patch and a new video.